All right, here we have our good buddy, John Guthrie, one of the original founding members of the Insufferable Bastards. How's it going there, Guthrie? Ah, it's going pretty good. I feel kind of like shit today, but I'm in decent spirits because there's an opportunity for me to go shoot some shit. Yes, wrong. that's always good. Yeah. So, uh... It's always fun. Oh, no doubt. So, um... You are one of the uh, founding members of the Insufferable Bastards. Um, tell me, as one of the founding members, what would you say defines you as one of our gamers? Well, ever since that whole holding the car up on the lift incident, everyone says that's pretty much me. Yes, this fellow uh, held a car up on a lift... He uh, got the back end pretty much completely off the ground while the rest of it was getting ready to fall. He's a tough guy. <laughs> there is no denying that. Um, as far as, you know, the nicknaming goes within the Bastard Circle, you guys gave me that nickname, the Cryptographer, after our third game. Yes. Because... Would you care to tell the folks about that? Uh, fairly embarrassing, but um, we are in a crypt, and... I had never really even thought of cryptography as, you know, code breaking. So, crypt, we were lost. I said, well, let me use my cryptography to find our way out of here. And, of course, everyone at the table erupts in laughter at my blatant stupidity. It wasn't until I thought about it for about five minutes until I realized what I had done. So the nickname kind of stuck. Just kind of like Circle Jerk, which I'll let Jonathan explain that one when yeah. it's his turn up on the cam. Of course. <laughs> To be fair, there was some cryptic writing on the crypt, so... Oh, later. <laughs> yeah. Once we got there, then I was like, hey, now I can use the cryptography. It did eventually apply. Yeah. Now, aside from the gaming, what else defines you as one of the original bastards? We know you're a uh, pretty stout dude. <laughs> um, hmm. You're also pretty good with the uh, guitar, aren't you? Yeah, I... Came up with a little ditty, the Bastards theme. Um, I named it that, not because it's for our group, so much as one part of the song, someone told me it sounds kind of like Unforgiven by Metallica, but just really hacked up. And another part, it's almost note for note, um, that Johnny Cash song, what is it, Ghost Riders in the Sky or something, or Night? Yeah, Ghost Riders in the Sky. I've only heard the song like three times, and you're the one that told me it sounded almost exactly like that, except the timing's whole, totally different. Right. So but basically, the, uh... I just made a bastardized version of the two <laughs> songs, crammed them together with my own twist at the end, and that is the Insufferable Bastards theme. Um, I'm sure later in another segment, one of your walkthroughs or something, I will actually play that on the cam here. Yeah, I'm just, hoping you'll do that. I just have to get my guitar out and do it. All right. But, um... I've come up with a couple of themes for some uh, some of the characters. They're not exactly finished. Of course, I never really cared to finish them. <laughs> I think that's what defines us all as bastards. We never finish anything. Well, not that we don't ever <laughs> finish anything. It's like important stuff that we know needs to get done. Sometimes we half-ass it when we shouldn't, and just general disregard for um, protocol. Protocol. Well, I was going to say humanity is in general. Oh yeah, that too. I mean, I mean we, we we have no regard for our fellow man at all. I don't think there's any denying that. I mean, we'll lend a helping hand when we see fit. Keep most telling ourselves times, that. Most of the times we will laugh at you though. It's like, oh look, Tim got his leg blown off. Should have been walking through there. Ha ha ha. <laughs> or hey, Guthrie cut off his pinky. Let's laugh at him. Yes, let's all laugh at Guthrie for cutting off his pinky. But look, it's back. <coughs> it works. Yes, I think we can all be happy that Guthrie got his pinky back. <laughs> now, yeah. um, one more question I'd like to ask you. What are your, some of your favorite insufferable bastard moments? Oh, dear God. Um, Just uh, right offhand, maybe a couple. Well... I think my favorite one, well, there's two right off the top, and they both include you, Ross, drunk. <laughs> the first one... Yeah, I think our viewers are familiar with me being drunk. At the top of the list, I wasn't there for either one of these two. I just heard about him. The first one's got to be when he, being Ross, decided to uh, moon an old couple <laughs> at an intersection where the stoplight had turned red, and Jonathan just decided not to tell him that it was stopping. 
So here's the old people on the sidewalk. Here's Ross's butt hanging out the window, and Jonathan comes to a complete stop. I told him to keep going. <laughs> I told him to keep going. The thing is, he couldn't run the stop sign, the stoplight, man. Hey, guess what? Your camera was off. Yes, I can see that. There you go. Something like that, yeah. But, uh, the other one is when you went through Crack Manor. Oh, God. Being an evangelist. <laughs> <laughs> to the Mexicans. Uh, once we heard that, I was quite honestly surprised that you didn't get your ass kicked hard. The Latino community loves Jesus as much as I do. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Oh, that's funny. That's funny shit right there. Oh, my God. Um, let's see here. One more good bastard moment. Oh, yes, when I told you fellas about that little Englishman that had that horrible disease where his skin hurt <laughs> and his muscles. And... The slidey man. Oh, dear God. You guys made so much fun of that. And I was generally feeling bad until about 15 minutes of you guys completely laughing then saying, what if he crapped himself out of his skin? <laughs> yeah, that right there. Um, what was that disease called again? I don't remember, just... All I know is the specifics of it is there are certain proteins that the body doesn't make, so the skin never actually bonds to the muscles. So it just will peel off at an instant down to the flesh. Yep. And it was it's a horrible, horrible disease. And we How long would you say we uh, spent laughing about that one? Uh, about an hour or two. <laughs> Easy. Easy an hour or two. And, uh... How fast are we going to hell for that, would you say? Uh, about warp six. <laughs> Easily warp six. Nice, nice, nice. Well. <laughs> well, are there uh, any closing comments you'd like to make for this particular segment of Meet the Bastards? You'll understand a little bit more as the other guys come on here. I am easily the best guy of the whole group. I have more morals and scruples than everyone else put together. I'm actually the kind of guy that's going to give you a helping hand and try not to laugh at you so hard. Even that is though I true. I do make fun of all religions, all races, and everything. It's We're all the bastards. We're the biggest bigots you'll ever meet. And, uh, well, you'll know that we've come through by the trail of ashes we leave. Well said, John. That's about it. All right. Thank you for your time. Yeah, man.